Every year, and it's rare, but every year it seems as though one or two undrafted free agents make an NFL team and don't just hang around, but they do great things. What do you think, Johnny, about the Panthers free agent class? I think they did really well. They, they arguably got the two best undrafted free agents in Jeremy Cash and Karis Garrett. Uh, Brian Strickland's got a nice story on Panthers.com right now talking about it, how the Panthers did that. And one of the things is they send their coaches out to, you know, to, to scout the kids and meet the kids. And, you know, one, I think Cash went to lunch with one of the coaches. It, it's, it's one of those things where, where it seems to have paid off. And, and look, there's some nice players here. Cash and Garrett are certainly the highlights. Cash was the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. He was primarily a safety at Duke, John, but he, like uh, so many before him, like, say, Thomas Davis, uh, translates to a more of a linebacker in the league. They'll probably want to put a little bit more weight on him here, but I think a lot of people were surprised that he went undrafted, actually. That's true. I mean, he had some injuries at the end of last year, which mattered a little bit. Uh, but you're right. He was a safety, but Director of College Scouting, Don Gregory, said, we got him to be a linebacker. That's a quote, so that's what you're going to see from Jeremy Cash. Naturally, we'll have the intelligence uh, having played uh, at a great school like Duke and uh, Coach Ron Rivera, ran into Coach Rivera earlier in the week and said, Coach, what do you think about these free agents? What can I tell on the rubber chicken circuit about them? And, and of course, uh, Cash was one of the main ones he mentioned as having tons of potential. All right, let's move on next to Kiaris Garrett, wide receiver Tulsa, possibly filling a need for the Panthers there. Yeah, there's some numbers here. 96 catches. 1,588 yards, eight touchdowns last season's Tulsa. He led the nation receiving, right? Right. Got huge numbers. Um, played really well. He's 6'3", 220, fits in the large receiver family we've got here already. Uh, the speed's fine. Supposedly, you know, there's some drops. And, you know, people actually read, you know, his, his hand size is not ideal. But, you know, if it was and he had that production, he would have gone in the first or second round. Nobody's, nobody's perfect if they're a late-round pick or an undrafted free agent. But this is a guy who looks like he could contribute at some point. Well, and you see him against Oklahoma. He contributed 14 receptions in that game alone. So that's what he did against major competition. But as you said, he's got the size, 6'3", 220. He's got the stats in terms of leading the nation. Ran a 4 5, five. In, in the 40. So, I mean, he's got a, he's got a lot on the ball for a guy who didn't get drafted, especially. It's definitely worth a flyer. There was Zach Sanchez on that tape, too. I was not going to say. <laughs> he made the tackle, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't all against Zach Sanchez, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just thinking about the productivity of, of Garrett. was a, definitely a productive player, and, uh, and, and will, of course, get uh, bigger and stronger. I love the way he hand-caught the ball. A couple of those short-range passes, ball with a lot on it, got right on him, but he kept it off his pads made a, 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 his thumbs together like you do if the ball's thrown to you above the waist, pinkies together if you have to catch it below the waist. Good receiving technique on that. Now, what about Jared Norris, linebacker, Utah 6'2", 240? Um, the thing you read about Jared Norris is leader. Uh, he, you know, he, he played, he was a really good player at Utah, obviously. I'm not going to claim to know a ton about or have watched a ton of tape on Jared Norris, just a little bit. As Dave Gettleman said, six, 700 players takes a really long time to evaluate. He didn't quite get there. But uh, Jared Norris looks like he's going to be a, a backup inside linebacker, seems most likely from what we've seen here. You can watch more exclusive Panthers TV programming on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Check out Facebook, TWC Sports Channel, NCSC.